Good morning, happy Thursday. Every Sunday as you're watching this, happy Sunday guys, hope you have the best Sunday ever. Morning, I'm up, out, bright and early, it's 7.20 and I'm on my way to Manchester. I don't remember the last time I was out this early <laughs> and it was a struggle this morning, I'm not gonna lie. I put on literally the tiniest bit of makeup just so I look alive. So I'm off to Manchester to go and do some yoga with L'Oreal, which is a bit random of me to travel all the way to Manchester to go and do some yoga. But basically, let me put some lip oil on actually because my lips are looking not cute. I haven't tried this before, it's the Trigwell lip oil. I've got the watermelon one. I was looking for my Dior one this morning and couldn't find it, but this literally looks the exact same. It smells delicious. Mm, it's not as thick as the Dior one, which is still nice. So that is my plan for today. I'm off to Manchester to do some yoga with L'Oreal. My whole outfit is sisters and seekers for anyone that's gonna wonder what it is. I'll show you a properly when we get there. It's Manny at 7.20 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna be late though. I thought, you did the journey's an hour and a half. So I was like, oh, I'll leave at seven. Didn't leave at seven, left at 10 past. And like, that's an extra half an hour to get there. But even leaving at 10 past, like, that's an extra 20 minutes to get there. And now it's saying the journey's two hours. So I'm gonna be a little bit late. Same quarter past nine, and it starts at nine. I don't think I'll be the only one that's late, so hopefully we should be all right. Oh, it's incredible, it actually feels good to be up and out early in the morning. I do want to start getting up early. I get up at half eight every day, so it's not like I'm up late. But basically, I don't know what happens. <laughs> well, I do know what happens. I've just fell out of a routine so bad, where it's like I wake up, I'll just lo lounge around for a bit, make myself a cup of tea, chill. And then by the time I know it's like 12 and I haven't done anything, I'm still sat in my dressing gown and I hate it. I want to be motivated, I want to get up and I want to do stuff. So I've made this idea in my head that I'm going to start getting up every single morning and going to the gym at 7am. This kind of counts because <laughs> I do yoga. It's exercise but it doesn't start till 9 but it's just two hours away. But it's fine. I just want to start going to more events and meeting more people and just push myself out of my comfort zone because I didn't know anyone that's going today. And um... I was like, yeah, I'll go. Like, anything in Manchester I'm happy to do because I can literally drive there and then drive home. Sorry about the light, but the sun is literally outside of me. Whereas London, I don't usually go to that many London events just because I can't be asked to have to get the train there, then get the tube, so wherever I'm going, and then my train back, like, the last train back is at, like, half ten, but it's not, like, the fast service. It takes over two hours, and I'm just like, can I actually be bothered with that? I don't think I can. Really sad, though, because all the best events happen in London. But I am going to an event next week, and I'm staying over, so, yeah, you're coming to London with me next week. The Manchester ones I just love because I can drive come home. But after the events now I'm gonna I don't know if to go into the traffic centre or to go just into the town. Cause it's the same thing for both really. Maybe I'll see how far traffic centre is when I get there because I know traffic centre is not by town. So I'll have a look around see what there is. I do want to get one of the new refi lip glosses. That's the only thing on my list today to be honest. But yeah I thought I'd bring you along for the day. I love daily vlogs and I feel like this one's gonna be so fun so positive good vibes only that's what we're here for doing today not really a lot to be honest i'll have to come home and then we'll just make dinner you can see copes i know you all love seeing copes i love seeing copes i bet he woke up this morning and was like what is going on because he usually doesn't get up until like mm, probably about half seven when oak gets up but i got him up to like six what time did you get him up 20 to 7 and it was in the bathroom like mom are you serious? And I was like, sorry babes. But he's so cute in the morning because I literally stroke him and he does like a big stretch, his arms are all the way out and I'm just like, oh, my boy. Now I'm gonna drive to Manchester now. Hope you enjoy the vlog. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go to many. I've still got an hour and 52 minutes, so we really love that for me. We made it. Are you all in in a sec? We're just going to the toilets and look. There's loads of little goodies. We've got the Sol de Janeiro spray and some of our L'Oreal products. How freaking cute. Like poached egg contest or something. But basically the drama this morning was 
So I was driving here and there was loads of signs on the motorway saying junction 16 to 18, which is where I'm going to go to Manchester. It was an hour and a half delay and I was like, okay, great. I'm not going to make it in time. But I just ignored the signs, carried on going. And I actually got here like, I was one of the first ones here. It was me and Sophie that was here. I was actually like the first ones here. So if you ever see signs on the motorway that say something's closed or delays, just ignore it and keep going. This is where it backfires though. And if you do that, then if you get stuck in it, it's not my fault. But here is our little yoga setup. All the orange mats. We're going to have some brunt now. I'll show you the brunt setup because the brunt setup is also very, very, very cute. This little section here and there's loads of little products that celebrate all their SPF stuff that they've got and then a vitamin c serum as well and then this is the little brunch area how cute is this little cell i love this and then the views are unreal i wonder if i can see my car from here no i think i parked the other side oh no there it is that's my car <laughs> so i've got eggs on toast the menu looks so nice but we all know for me wouldn't eat it so eggs on toast with a leaf to dress it up a little bit. <laughs> and then I've got a nice little tea. Guys, we've got presents. We get to take the yoga mats home. This, and then look, we've got flowers. Yeah, you ripped yours. <laughs> no, we've got some cute flowers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I saw you rip it and I was like, oh. I'm glad I've got this bag because we've got to take our big water bottles home and they're heavy. Oh, our yoga blocks in there as well. Oh, yeah, what is that? What's that? I think now we're gonna head, head over to the pop-up, which will be fun. So my well, parking runs out in 45 minutes, and fun to get. Wow, this is so cute. If anyone wants to visit the little pop-up, you can get like a skin analysis and stuff, and they're giving out like little freebies. They're in these places on these dates. And we're back in the car. I literally had to rush back so quick because my parking ended at five to one. And it was a little bit late, it was five past one. So fingers crossed. They don't have like those number plate recognition things that scan your edge in and out. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm with But also, it's pay and display, so surely they won't. The little pop-up thing was in Manchester City Centre, but if I'd have known it was there, I would have just drove to the city centre, parked there, and then just like walked around the shops there. Because it's pretty much the same thing as what's at the Trafford Centre, isn't it? So I've got back to my car, and it's either a 10 minute drive to the town centre or a 15 minute drive to Trafford. And Trafford Centre's free parking, so I'm going to the Trafford Centre instead. That event was so cute. I love like a morning event. Is that the? F I feel like that's the first morning event that I've been to, you know? It was so nice. It's a nice group of girls as well. Like, there wasn't actually that many of us. There was probably like 15, if that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Trafford Centre now. I don't really know what I'm going to buy. I am very hot in this, like, because this is long sleeves and this is also long sleeves, but I feel like my outfit looks better with the hoodie on, so I want to keep the hoodie on. But I haven't been to the Trafford Centre in actual, like, years. So, I'm actually, no, that's a lie. When are you looking at the traffic center? Oak's birthday? No. I can't actually remember the last time I went to the traffic center. It wasn't actually that long ago because I came with Oak. I'm going to go because this camera is shaking all over the place. And I'll see you in the traffic center. I don't know if you get some food or not. Because there's a slim chicken there. And the mac and cheese. Kind of calling my name. It's now 10 past 1. We had brunch at about 10. But I'm like, I'm not actually that hungry. I'm just going to eat for the sake of eating because it's there. Props. We've parked at the travel centre. I feel like every time I come here it looks different and every time I come here I don't know where I'm going so this should be fun. I don't know where to go first. Starting at Primark. I don't remember the last time I've actually been into Primark and it'd be a success so are we being optimistic and getting a basket? Yes we are. I've just picked up a few of the £1.80 tops for Lil and then we get this little set as well. I love buying clothes for Lil. My basket is already half filled for Lil but now we're going down to the stuff that I'll actually like. I love the colour of this blazer and it's only £22. These little beach bags are nice, but I've got no more holidays planned, so I don't need one of those, but it's a good size as well. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Primark's really gone downhill for clothes, but for pyjamas, can't go wrong. So let's go to the pyjamas. The clothes are just not doing it for me. These parachute pants are cute though. These are so cute, but I feel like Oak will actually get mad at me for buying another pair of silk pyjamas. And they've got them in blue with the trousers as well. I've decided I'm just gonna go into Southridges and then go home. I'm not in the mood for shopping today. This new Skims colour top is such a bit of me, but they've only got large left. But how nice is that? literally a neon thing but the green as well which is also sick all i'm actually after today is the refined lip gloss i'm gonna go to the beauty stand i am actually hungry now as well so i might get some food and then go home i need to take a couple little bags before here why not that was the most pointless shopping trip i've ever done i went to refi to get the lip gloss that i wanted that only had the clear one they don't even have the other ones on the shelf so it's not like they even stock it so this was a waste of journey but it's fine half two now so i think i'm gonna get some food i want to get mcdonald's or something on the way home and then i'm gonna drive home and hopefully miss the traffic 
or just about scrape traffic. But I'm hungry. I don't know what to get. That. I haven't had McDonald's for so long. Can't attempt to get the new cheese bites. Obviously. Food has been secured. I literally just got some of the cheese bites. I was gonna get a meal, but I thought I'm not actually like hungry for a whole meal. But to be fair, I've got a share box of cheese bites, so I might have got the whole meal, but I haven't had these since I literally tried them when the first came out. They're like little mozzarella balls with the tomato dip. Can you even hear me? The aircon's on. Oh, they're still squidgy. That's what we like to see. Mm. Oh god, also I've got two Primark bags back there. Primark was very unsuccessful. I literally just got a couple of pairs of pyjama shorts for me. A Carmex to keep in the car because Oak stole mine. I really need a wee, but I can't be bothered to go into McDonald's. I might just hold it <laughs> for the two hour journey home. It's saying it's going to take two hours. I don't think it will take that long. It said it was going to take two hours to get here, but it didn't end up taking an hour and a half. I was on time this morning, which we love. These are actually so good. Who's tried these? Still not as good as halloumi fries or the Christmas ones, but they're still good. Had such a nice day. Never ever go to events on my own because I'm like, mm. but I just had such a good time. But I did see Soph, and Soph was the only one in there, and I'm glad Soph was there because it's just a bit like breathe. Like, I'm, at least I know someone. I would have liked to walk around more shops, but I don't like doing it on my own. I get kind of like anxious. I'm like, oh, just get me out of here. I used to love shopping on my own, but now Oak is like my comfort blanket when I'm out shopping. Oh, I prefer it when I'm with Oak. So maybe we'll come to. There's not really any point in going to the shop tonight. I walked into Zara. The escalator has broke to go downstairs, so I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go down. So I just left. All right, it is. We'll go home. We'll see you at home. Is Mr. Smith waiting for me? Oh, hello! <laughs> I was waiting for you. Like that, do you? Are you even up to your bobs? Where's your toys? Who wants to see Cobra with zoomies? What's he got? Get it! Ignore the washing on the line. <laughs> Come on, G, zoomies! Ah! <laughs> zoomies! <laughs> Here he goes! Whoa! <laughs> Here he goes! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, what happened there? What? Why are you taking a break? Find out. <laughs> Lazy boy. He's playing with his birthday cake that... Who got him that for his birthday? Uh... Might have been Ben and Dev. I think it was. Hi, baby smoothies. Is that it? That's all for your zoomies today. Now I'm just sat here editing Thursday's video, which hopefully you should have seen. It's the spend the day with me. I never spend the day with me. So if you watched my last vlog, I literally ended the vlog in this position. But just in case you missed the last vlog, basically I sorted out my whole room. All the drawers and stuff that I've got up here are deep clean. Because they were so cluttered with just stuff that I'm not going to use. Like I said in the last video, I'm so lucky and grateful to be sent so much like unreal stuff by so many different brands but I am literally just one person and I'm not going to use every single thing that they send me. It would just actually be impossible. So I sorted out loads of stuff and I've got four big bags full of like little bits to give away. So I'm going to do like 10 individual boxes. So if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe on here, DM me on Instagram, the little bear emoji. And then I'm going to give it a week. I'm just going to reply and DM 10 random winners. Do you want me to just randomly DM people? Or do you want to know that I've picked people and me put it on my story? Let me know. Oh, it's cooking dinner. I'm so hungry. I think we're going to eat dinner first and then walk over. I think that is the plan. But I need a cup of tea. I've just edited that video. This video. This video? No, Tuesday. Oh, that was zoomed in. I just edited Tuesday's video. And now it's time to eat. Let's put these suitcases in the loft. Because we unpacked. Finally. What have you got there? What is it? You got your toy. Huh? That crinkly nose. It gets me every time. Every time, Mr. Smith. Oh, he's down there, look. Get him. Quick, get him. Quick. Editing's done now, by the way. I just need to upload it. I'm a little bit late. I like to upload it at six and it's quarter past. But we get it off half past, it's fine. Excuse me. 
Mum, move her rubbish now. Yep, I don't want you eating that, Mr. Bear. Dinner time in our household. Cobra's got some rice and chicken. Is that nice, Cobes? Video's uploading. Oak's cooked some jerk. We've got jerk chicken rice and mushrooms and wraps as well. I'm going to watch the Big Bang. And then it's time for his walk. It's a good thing he doesn't get excited about that word. Walkies. He literally doesn't care. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm starving. Time. It's dinner time, oh, bitches. Rice everywhere. Do you want another fork? Do not get you one. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited for this. I feel like it's been ages since we had jerk. Bring the whole hand back. We had jerk. Yeah. You like mushrooms as well. It's just the best ever. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. If you could smell our house right now. I wish they did a jerk air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to jerk night. This is my favourite meal ever. Over ever, anything. Ever. Yeah. Over anything, this is my five. Time is it? Oh, he's gone. Cobes! Cobra! What time is it, Bobs? It's walkie time! Guys, Oak's dragging me to the gym against my <coughs> will. I've got you in water. It's a good bottle. It's a good bottle, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't drink that bit earlier and it kept it cold. It's sturdy. I'm gonna make myself a squoosh in my glossy box bottle. It's Love Island time, but where am I going? To the gym. It's not Love Island time. Gym time. It's five to nine. That is Love Island time. Get your ass in the gym. I am getting my ass in the gym. I don't want to get my ass in the gym, but getting my ass in the gym. Let's go. I'm not bringing my camera because that is just the next level of embarrassment that I'm not ready for yet. Remembers this map from Cobra's birthday vlog. You basically hide loads of little treats in there. It's meant to be really good for him, lot of stimulation and stuff, so we're gonna hide some treats in. For the baby bear. Yes, we are. Do you wanna cut these up to come with a knife? Yeah, come in half. They're all treated up, they're like. It's what wears while they've got the treat version. In there. There's loads going on in here for him. Yeah. Let's go put it down. <laughs> he's got that <laughs> board of waiting that he's gone to eat his driving seat. Oh, you were <laughs> hungry. Come on, we've got some up for you. Sorry for the delay. We've got some that's better than food. Ready? Put the living room. What have we got for you, mister? Living room right here. Uh, I'll put it out. Yeah. Go back. What's oh, here? What's <gasps> mummy got? What's it? Oh, hold on. Oh, no, it's a drop biscuit. What's in there? We just want to strike for the big one. I'll be What's oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> I think he actually enjoys it or if it actually thinks like this is so long mum. So nah, he loves it. He's got so much to do in it. He's like trying to find him treats. Hi yeah, please ignore the state of me. I've just had a shower, wash my hair. I can't dry it because I need it to basically be as greasy as I can for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm my hair and tomorrow I'm bleaching it and it's less painful if I've got a greasy head. But it did need washing because I had rosemary oil in it. So please ignore that. But before I go to bed, I want to give you a little haul of what I got earlier. Not gonna lie though, most of it is for Lil. There's not really anything in here for me. <laughs> Show you what I got Lil, I got these little shorts. Basically Lil is like me where she just chooses comfort over anything. Like she's not a girly girl that wears skirts and dresses, she chooses comfort. So I got literally these shorts in every single colour that they have. They're gonna look so cute in these ones. Green, little pink ones. And then grey, the only colour I didn't pick up was black because I hate when she wears black. I just don't think it's cute and girly at all so I never buy anything black. She hates wearing leggings, but you can never have too many leggings. So I literally got this grey pair of leggings for two pound. I wanted to get her some like cute summery bits. Then I got her this little set. So it's these shorts. These shorts for three pound. And how cute are these? She's not the biggest fan of pink, but pink's the only colour they had. But she will wear it. And then the matching top, which was also three pound, six pound for a whole cute little outfit. And then I got her the same t-shirt but in blue but they didn't have matching shorts but I just thought I'd get the t-shirt anyway. And then the little basic tops that are like £1.80. She goes through them so quick because she's a horsey girly. All of her clothes get ruined so I got her this one. Oh my camera's gonna die. £3 for this one. £1.80 for this one. A little unicorn on the front. I got her this short and like t-shirt set which was £12. And then, oh my god, this is gonna die, I'm scared. I got this like ribbed cycling shorts and top set. I got, oh, these are for me now. 
myself I've got pyjamas I've got this little white top these shorts which are so cute they didn't have any small so I had to get a medium but for pyjamas it's fine and then also pyjamas 